Let's try this one. Um, so uh, eventually we're going to want to find the density of this uh, block of metal. But first um, we're going to need to find the volume. And the volume itself is not given to us, but um, the length, width, and thickness in this case, or height, um, is given to us. So, um, well, let's figure out what the density of this thing is. So, it says the length is of this piece of metal, the length of the piece of metal is 6.45 centimeters. Uh, the width of the piece of metal is um, 2.50 centimeters and the thickness or the height is going to be the small one 3.1 millimeters okay so there's a couple of things with this um, already right so we need to use these to find the volume but already we see hopefully that Millimeters are a different unit than centimeters, so we're going to have to convert units there. And uh, this number only has got two sig figs, so our volume and our density down the road are going to only have to are going to only be allowed to have uh, two um, sig figs. So um, remember, when you're doing a density of solids, um, you're usually going to be seeing the density units of grams per cubic centimeter, if you recall, or cubic meter or whatever. So um, probably you want to get these in grams per, or get the volume into cubic centimeters. So even if you didn't remember that the volume equation for a block, so you got kind of like a block here. best artist, but like that. So if you think about this, this part is 3.1 millimeters here. That's the thickness. Uh, the length is going to be 6.45 centimeters, and the width is going to be 2.50 centimeters. Okay, so that's what you're looking at there. So the volume is actually the length times the width times the height. Um, so, 6.45 centimeters times 2.50 centimeters times, well, if you did, if you just put your millimeters in there, you get centimeters, your units would be centimeters squared times millimeters, and those are not good units. So, I would recommend that you convert this first to centimeters, so how many centimeters are there in a millimeter, or how many millimeters are there in a centimeter? So, um, if you don't know, there's 10 centimeters, or 10, sorry, 10 millimeters, and one centimeter. So, when you do that, cancel, cancel, and so that's going to make that decimal move over one place, so 0 0.31 centimeters. So, let's take this and put that converted. So, if we see now, we got centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, it's going to be centimeters cubed. So just take the calculator now, and say 6.45 times 2.5 times 0.31 and you get, on your calculator, it says 4.00875, but you've got to do round it to two sig figs, so it's going to be 5.0 centimeters is going to be the, centimeters cubed is going to be the volume. Um, and then remember, the density is uh, mass divided by volume, or if you recall, it's going to be in units of grams per centimeters cubed, like that. So, grams per centimeters cubed. We already know what the centimeters cubed is, 5.0. And the mass is 
13.56 grams. Okay, so, and if you wanted to memorize something, so grams per cubic centimeter, so you just do that. So I'm going to leave, well, we'll just do 13.56 divided by second answer, and I got my density is 2.712678 blah blah blah. Um, but this number only has two sig figs. In fact, we're actually going back to this number only and it being two sig figs. So our answer will be 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. And in fact, um, in, a, in a problem down the road, we'll uh, figure out how to determine what this actual metal is. So what is this metal? And we can figure it out partially using the density and other physical characteristics.